I wasn't planning on making this video, but since my first two coronavirus videos, there has been hundreds of questions. Yesterday, late afternoon, I got a phone call from the hospital. The results of my latest test came in. It's official. I'm cured. I got over the coronavirus. The purpose of this video is to answer all those questions by sharing all the details of my coronavirus disease from first symptoms that I wasn't even aware they were the symptoms till today when I'm over the virus. Hopefully, someone can learn from my experience and can keep his family and loved ones safe. People asked questions on YouTube, on Facebook, by emails, on WhatsApp, and many, many people were texting and calling. I was constantly repeating myself and I realized that there simply isn't enough first-hand experience out there that people could compare with. Hopefully, many people will have similar experience with coronavirus as me, meaning the disease will go away without any major issues. But it is very important to be aware of the disease, as it is extremely contagious and very, very dangerous for some people. Most common and most important question was, what were my initial symptoms? Unfortunately, we have reached a stage that even in the best healthcare systems on the planet, not everyone can be tested for coronavirus, as there simply isn't enough resources. Because of that, it is even more important to recognize your first symptoms. Experts around the world are talking about five symptoms. If I think back, I had just one of those five symptoms. And that was enough to be positive on COVID-19. All I had was a headache with possible fever. I say possible fever because I was in Morocco traveling and I didn't have a thermometer, but it felt like I had it. My headache happened on February 29th, and at that time there were no coronavirus cases in Morocco, no cases in my home country, and only few cases around Europe, with the exception of Italy, of course. I thought my headache and bad overall feeling were results of my previous day. Day before, I was traveling from one part of Morocco to another by bus with crazy cold AC. I couldn't wait for every stop to get off the bus to warm up a little bit. So when I got a headache and feeling of fever, I blamed it on that 13 hour long super cold bus ride. I took a painkiller, rest for a few hours and I felt much better. That is why I got out and went filming Marrakesh. In the evening, I felt really tired and I felt something is going on. Next day, on March 1st, I could hear my voice being a little bit off, like I have a minor cold or something. But I wasn't coughing, my nose wasn't running, I had no more headache and I had no feeling of fever or any other pain. And that remained unchanged until recently. To sum up, I had just one day of headache and possible fever. Next day, headache was gone, but my voice sounded like I have a minor cold without any other issues. That were all the symptoms I ever had. Second very important question was, how did I realize I have coronavirus? Short answer is, I didn't until I was tested. I got home on March 4th. For my return flight home, I bought hand sanitizer and I was disinfecting my hands all the time. I was careful not to touch anything on the airports in order to avoid getting coronavirus, not knowing that the virus was already in me. I felt fine and healthy, with exception of my voice sounding like I have a minor cold. In Italy, I passed airport control where they measured temperature of passengers with no problems. When I finally got to my house, the first coronavirus case was declared in my country. With my wife, we immediately took safety precautions and avoid all contacts. After I found out that the first case is the person I shared a room with in Morocco, I immediately arranged to have my coronavirus test done. If I wasn't in contact with that person, 
they wouldn't even take in the test as I had no typical symptoms and I felt fine. That is why the results were kind of a shock for me. On March 5th, six days after my initial headache, it was confirmed that I'm positive for COVID-19. I became third person with coronavirus in my country. I was hospitalized and at that moment I realized how incredibly contagious this virus is and why it is such a big deal. I was put in special isolation room. Medical staff was all dressed up with their protective gear and it was like in sci-fi movie. Medical staff entered to my isolation room through one door and left out through another doors that led to small decontamination room where they left their protective gear in special containers. We communicated through the glass using microphone. They were very persistent that every two hours I fully opened the window for at least 10 minutes. Only at that moment I realized that coronavirus is extremely, extremely contagious. That is why all countries are taking it so seriously and that is why we should all follow the rules the authorities are imposing to prevent spreading this virus. Third important question was, what did the doctors and myself do about coronavirus? I have spent five days in hospital and all my vitals were perfect. Medical staff was joking that my vitals were better than any of them. There was no treatment, no pills, just checking my vitals and taking and testing my samples. In my case, the virus caused me almost no problems and I was more of a danger to others. On March 10th, they had to let me go as the number of coronavirus cases was rapidly increasing and they needed all available beds. I was transported home in an ambulance and staff taking me home was again looking like from a sci-fi movie. I was strictly following the rules I got from hospital. At home, I stayed in our spare bedroom and using the next door spare bathroom. We were really serious about not getting in touch with my family and we were keeping safe distance all the time. I was opening bedroom window every two hours for at least 10 minutes. I was using the same plates, glasses and cutlery all the time and I was washing it in bathroom sink. We were making sure that nothing is coming out of my room and everything stays inside until the virus is gone. My wife was bringing me food and drinks and she left it in front of the door. Every time before I opened bedroom door, I first put on mask on my mouth. Every morning I disinfected my phone and door handles. My wife and I mostly communicated using WhatsApp and I especially appreciated all the videos she sent me of our baby girl. On March 12th, I went back to the hospital where they took new samples from me. I still felt my voice sounded a bit off. I also noticed my tongue was full of white plaques for the last couple of days. This was 13th day from my initial symptoms. By this time, coronavirus became pandemic and labs just couldn't run all the tests anymore. So it took a while before my results came in. I returned home and stayed in my isolation room. On Saturday, March 14th, I woke up and I felt completely healthy. Even that minor cold was finally gone and my voice was back to normal. White plaques on my tongues were also gone. This was 15 day from my initial symptoms. But since there were no results yet, doctors have ordered me to stay in isolation. According to their orders, I had to stay there until 24th of March, that is 14 days from my hospital release. But luckily, yesterday, on March 18, the results finally got in. They were all negative, meaning there is no more coronavirus in my body and I'm declared healthy again. It's hard to describe feelings after not being able to hug my family for almost a month. I left home on February 20th and I effectively stayed separated from my wife and daughter since. But it was well worth to take all these early safety measures and to respect all hospital rules and to stay in isolation. 
everyone in my family stayed healthy. My parents, my wife and my daughter have been ordered to stay at home in isolation since they were in contact with me on March 4th when I arrived from Morocco. Today, their 14 days of quarantine runs out and luckily none of them have shown any signs of coronavirus or had any other health problems. These are all the details I can remember regarding my coronavirus case. I hope you can use something from my experience that will help you to protect your loved ones. Thank you all for your thoughts, prayers and positive messages. I wish all affected by this disease that they can stay positive and I wish everyone will recover as soon as possible. Please stay responsible, respect safety measures and if necessary take immediate precautions to protect people around you. Thanks for watching and stay healthy and safe.